Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life, thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be doing a group reading share and we're gonna be focusing on the energy that's revolving around the Cancer Eclipse, the lunar eclipse that's happening on January 11th. However, if you are watching this video from the future past this eclipse time, it's okay because I feel like everything happens for a reason, everything does happen for a reason and you cross paths with this pick a card reading at the right time for you at this moment in your life and along your journey. However, this Cancer Eclipse is being, it's igniting so much energy and so much transformation in every single one of our lives, but also in our globe and in our planet. And what I didn't want to do was leave you guys empty handed. I didn't want you to feel like you weren't being supported with this type of pressure that is getting pushed down on us all across the globe. And we're seeing this in our planet changing and our how we take care of our planet how we take care of ourselves and politics and government all these things are under fire the things that it is that we thought that we valued most we're realizing like no this is not actually what i see for myself no this is not okay no this is not right and we're being called to action so i did talk about this um eclipse and also the transits in full detail or more detail than i will in this video but if you would like to talk about the astrology transits, I'll go ahead and link that down below. But for the most part, what you will also find linked down below is the timestamps. And what I want you guys to do is to find, allow yourself to really truly gravitate towards a number. One, two, or three that stands out to you the most that you feel like you need to hear a message of truth, a message of resounding truth to help you at this point in your journey. Really allow it to come to you through your third eye and I'm gonna link that number down below and then in that timestamp, so that's gonna be in the, uh, the description box and also in the comments, will be your message, okay? So that being said, let's go ahead and dive in to what it is that I'm seeing and let's start with pile number one. So for those of you guys that picked pile number one, I'm seeing the child, we have the mask from the Lenormand, we have the well, we have the ring, queen of pentacles, zombie tarot, six of wands, and two of swords from the zombie tarot. From the flower oracle, we have you are lovable. Love who you are as you, you're created perfectly. Everything about your true self is beautiful. We also have the card of courage. We also have new idea crab apple. From the um, flower oracle, we have soulmates. And we also have time to make a demonstration. So right away, the first thing that's standing out to me when it comes to these cards, especially with the card of courage, and time to make a demonstration is the sacral chakra. This is, and now as I'm saying this, the card, you are lovable and new idea. With the sacral chakra, this is our core. This is our identity, our, our ability to look at ourselves and be like, I am worthy of this. I am worthy of good things. I am worthy of unconditional love. I'm worthy of abundance. I'm worthy of acceptance, flaws and all. And I feel as though in your brain, in your mind, along your journey, that's at this point has probably been an issue for you. You may logically understand and be told over and over and over again that you are worthy and that you are deserving of love, abundance, or whatever it is, but it's almost as if you had to reteach yourself this and believe it to your core because a part of you was almost rejecting it. I am seeing that this journey up until this point, it's like you've been digging in and finding out, okay, this is why I believed this idea. This is why I believed that I was not worthy of love. This is why I am struggling with money. This is why I'm struggling with creativity. This is why I'm struggling with my sexuality. This is why I'm struggling with my ability to play because I have this idea that I am not worthy of doing that, that I should be different. I should be doing something else. I should not be enjoying this. When in reality, it's like you're, you're uncovering this mask and tapping into your root of who you are and finding all the ways to love that side of yourself again. That's why I'm seeing this new idea is because it is this new belief, this new concept that on paper, you can understand it. On paper, you can see it for everyone, for, for everyone, but for yourself, you've really been having a hard time making that truth your own reality. 
this is sometimes someone as i'm looking at the six of wands it's almost like seeing it on paper or hearing other people say it but for you it needs to be ingrained in your spirit and all decisions that you make come from the space of i am lovable i am worthy and i am allowing myself to receive this now at the time of the eclipse and at the time of or maybe at the time of you watching this video there is something that's happening within your life that's going to show you how worthy you are my only thing is is that i feel like you need to open your hands up to be able to receive it i think that that's going to be your biggest issue is allowing yourself to receive it and it's going to take courage for you to open your arms up to receive it i'm really feeling as though the same thing that this group the same thing that you have been calling out to the universe and trying to manifest also might scare the shit out of you. <laughs> so this is someone who really truly wants true love and to be loved unconditionally, but at the same time, that same person may not have received it up until this point. And some people can be like, well, as a child, you know, you should have received true love, but, or you should understand true love because your parents love you, your mom loves you, your dad loves you, or your guardian loves you. But they love you in the way that they know best and they love you in the way that they know how but just the way just because that's their way of showing love doesn't mean that that's your understanding of love and that, that sometimes that way might not feel good to you or it may actually cloud you or make you feel less than so there is this uncovering of truth that's been happening that actually branched from your childhood now or that have branched from your childhood that you are now discovering and overcoming and this two of swords you've been in this like stalemate situation meaning like you've been really protecting your heart and guarding your heart and guarding your energy manifesting setting intention and preparing yourself doing the healing and also learning how to recover this aspect of yourself but at the same time as you've been looking into this well and understanding your truth and understanding who you are you needed that time but now now that you've done the healing, now that you've done the work, you have to open your hands up from the two of swords and you have to open your hands up to receive. And when that thing comes in, when that love comes in, because this is truly soulmate love type of energy that you're about to receive that you're walking into, when it shows up, you don't want to push it away and reject it. It almost, when I'm seeing the six of wands, this is the card of success and accomplishment and achievement, but I cannot ignore the fact that it feels like it's achievement written on paper like it logically when you write it down it looks better on paper but when you receive it and when it's happening in your life it actually scares you it locks you up it triggers you so it's almost as if you know when you wrote down your intention you're like these are the things that is that i want but when it actually manifests it really does trigger you and make you be like wait I, am i healed am i ready you can start questioning it you can start pulling it apart destructing it like destroying it trying to find the root because you do not want to let anything come into your space right now and disrupt or derail you from the work that you've been putting in that like the journey that took you up until this point you don't want anything to come in and mess that up for you because that's it's like you're trying to perfect this idea of healing you're trying to perfect this i am better because of this i am worthy of receiving but then when it actually comes in you're like are you worthy and so there is an act of courage that it will take that is a part of your growth now to that is encouraging you right now that it's about opening your heart up and opening your spirit up and opening up your energy to taking this next big leap of faith and this next big leap of faith is it's big in a sense that it can create a huge change but it's it, it's actually it's almost like small action that's about going take giving someone you know going on a date or doing this thing putting in this investment and expecting nothing but the best from it and if it doesn't match up to your expectations that is not going to disappoint you because you're very solid in who you are and your worth. You know that because the date didn't work out or because this thing didn't work out, that it had nothing to do with you. It was just a part of the process. Like it doesn't derail you. That's actually a part of your journey now. And that takes a lot of courage because I feel like you, this, you've learned so much on paper. Like, okay, this makes me, these are my qualities. This is what makes me amazing. This is what I'm worthy of receiving. 
and I'm going to protect this, but a part of that means like take what you've learned and apply it to the real world. And when you get, um, when things don't pan out the way that you wanted it to, don't internalize that as a failure. Just realize that this is a journey. And so the other thing too is as I'm saying this, I feel like some of you guys are gonna be like, no, like just, I want the real deal. I don't want to try on these certain things or try go out and put myself out there and it not be the, the I don't want to, I want to hit it big the first time. And literally that's written on paper. That's something that you've written on paper. That's an expectation that is that you have. That's how you think it will pan out to be. When in reality is, is that I'm really seeing this, um, that, it's not that it's not going to happen. You actually are going to hit the jackpot like you are. But it's it's um, enjoying the process, having pleasure, having joy, having you know love and having fun with it and enjoying all aspects of it. You're not forcing anything. You're not fighting anything. You're not becoming defeated by anything. You're not, you know, taking a good moment or an awkward moment and being like what the hell I thought I did the work that should have turned out differently this is a new area new energy new life that is that you're walking into and it takes courage for you to put yourself out there that being said you putting yourself out there this time to make a demonstration type of energy I not only that but all of these cards are showing me that this when you open your heart up, it, and again, for this pile, I feel like you guys have really been doing the work. You have had a lot of um, moments where things didn't pan out and they hurt you tremendously. I'm getting a sense of tremendous heartache. This is things that has happened from your childhood that were embedded in you, not on purpose, but almost accidentally and you're learning how to love again you're learning how to love openly again and it takes so much courage to put yourself out there and to try and not only trying but allowing yourself to receive it and that's the biggest thing right now is i feel like the the moment when this thing manifests this the soulmate actually occurs when it conjures itself up when you cross paths with this person your biggest act of courage that's going to lead to your success the ultimate manifestation of this thing coming together and happening for you is you actually opening up your heart to receive it and to allowing yourself to be vulnerable and you're going to know because your third eye is going to tell you clearly that this connection is special this connection is unique and this is a new life a new birth you're gonna have to say goodbye to the old you, the, 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 the you that needs confirmation, that needs to um, have this belief in their head that they're not worthy. And I know that that sounds crazy, but there's a lot of people who are so accustomed to this mindset that they're not worthy, that it makes it so that they don't have to do anything more, that they can always have this wish. It's always outside of their reach. It's like people who are afraid of success. They're asking and wanting love, but at the same time, they're terrified of it because that would mean that they're vulnerable again, that they would have to be made vulnerable, that they would have to share their self, themselves, flaws and all, to this other person, to this new being. And how does that make you feel? It's the same thing that you want, but it's the same thing that freaks you out. So what I'm seeing for my group number one, and for those that pick this group number one, there is a soulmate here. There is a bond, a soul tie that is happening here that will happen. You are going to be victorious in this, but you need to, the only thing that you need to work on right now at this time is being courageous and opening your arms up to receive it, being bold, making this huge step forward, this big leap of faith that says, you know what, I'm scared right now because I know that the same thing that I've been asking for is the same thing that's about to materialize and it's going to require a certain level of vulnerability that I have been uncomfortable with receiving and giving to other people but this is the way that i will receive it this is how i will receive it this is going to bring my intimacy and my connection to the next level and that's what i see for you i see soulmates i see connection i don't see um when i see when i'm saying soulmates i'm feeling like soul lessons in the in the form of when you're with someone and you're opening your heart up you're going to learn so much about yourself but with this partner 
or with this relationship, it's actually time. Like this is time, but you've, but instead of crossing your arms over your chest, it's time for you to open up and to receive it. There's a lot that's beneath the surface. There's a lot to be discovered about yourself. And it's time for you to learn about yourself through this partnership, through this connection. Your thing is, is like, you might be scared of it when it shows up because it's, you're going to, that some of you guys are going to be like, is it too good to be true? No, it's just time. <laughs> it's just time. It's okay for you to trust. It's okay for you to have this, you know, endless love. It's okay for you to have romance. It's okay for you to, you know, abandon your work projects and pull up from your desk and go on a, an incredible romantic date. It's okay for you to believe in happily ever after again, because these are things that are manifesting. And I feel like this is the same group that's been calling out for love and true love and connection and intimacy is the same group that might be a little scared to receive it. You know what I mean? I get it. The other thing is the queen of pentacles here, right? She's been on her, I don't want to say on her own, but she's been really working. Like if you see it, she's kind of confined to her chair. There's um, like a a chain that keeps her to her chair, to her status quo. And she's been comfortable in that because that's how she learned to thrive. That's how she learned to survive. But there comes a point, especially with the queen of pentacles where she has to receive and it needs to be tangible. It needs to be things that she can touch, that she can count on, that's reliable, that's consistent. And that's what you're about to receive. That's why it says it's time to make a demonstration. It's time to put all that you have learned, all that you have worked on into motion by taking that grand leap of faith, by putting yourself out there and being like, you know what universe, I am ready to receive this. I'm ready because I've been doing the work, but more than that, I am worthy of love. Even in my broken spaces, I am so worthy of receiving this love, this soulmate love, this soulmate connection, this partnership, this union. This is gonna be newness. So we have the child here, this new energy, and we also have the crab apple, this new idea. So this is newness that's coming through. I feel like you guys have been doing the work and that's what is really the problem. Not really the problem, but that's the struggle is that you've come such a long way when it comes to doing this soul work that <clears throat> it's like you'll be damned if someone comes in and you become vulnerable again and then you get hurt. But if you're doing all of this work to just hoard all this love for yourself, <laughs> then it's like, well, what was the point of all of that? You know, it's time to give it to someone else. It's time for you to receive it from someone else who has also been doing the work. That's the thing too, when I'm seeing the mask of this card as well, that you have pulled the mask, you've been seeing like uncovering your truth, but the, I'm also seeing this mask as a mirror. This is who I am, this is who I am. So you're matching with this perfect union. You're matching with the perfect mirror of you who's been doing the same thing, but they're polar opposites. We have the sun on one side and we have the moon on the other. So we have masculine, we have feminine. We have two different energies, polar opposites that are opposite <laughs> in the sense that they have different strengths, but their strength mirrors each other. So that's why they work together in cohesion and they're coming together or they're meeting together. And it's interesting too, because I'm doing this reading for the Cancer Eclipse. The Cancer is about finding the space that is it that you belong, the space that is, you know, where, you, where you're most vulnerable, the space that you pull from your most emotional strength, and stepping into that truth. And that's what I'm seeing for you, is that for those of you guys that picked this pile, this newness that's coming into your life, this groundbreaking, you know, trans world changing, life shifting energy is coming in the form of soulmates twin flames you know matching up with your life partner and linking arms hand in hand and being like you know what i am going to be vulnerable in in ways with you that i haven't been vulnerable with anybody else not just physically or sexually but more emotionally and more mental depth and connection anybody can have sex with anyone but it's about sharing the rawness the realness of who you are to your core it's like, that's another level of intimacy. And that's what I'm seeing is that you guys are really getting into and diving into, like, this is who I am at the bottom. Like, this is who I am. And it takes a lot of courage and bravery to be able to share that. And when you do with the right person, I mean, the love is just out of this world. The connection, the relationship gets taken to the next level. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. All right, moving on to card group part. Uh, guard pool number two i'm seeing masculine energy the man we see the mountain obstacles we're seeing the, the bridge crossing from one to the next 
we're seeing six of pentacles the devil card mm -hmm. six of swords oh my goodness interesting very interesting very interesting then we see share the message of love daffodil rivers of love flow within you and others may benefit from this healing energy be mindful of each word that passes your lips this connects me to the devil card this is about being totally aware and not falling like not succumbing to our demons wow to be fair that this card right here to be fair wow they choose you and then also impatience so for those of you guys that pulled this card this is the word that's coming through and i feel like this is really cliche but it is what it is it's a journey it's a path it's a path unwinding it's a journey unfolding you've been taking steps every day to move past these relentless obstacles this opposition you've been speaking to yourself over and over and over again but i'm almost getting in your brain it's like you're you've been hearing you've almost been speaking ill to yourself you've almost been hearing hearing words hearing messages that don't support you that don't lift you up that kill your joy that kill your vibe that kill your essence and this could be things that you're telling yourself but these are could this also could be things that you're hearing this could be things that you're seeing this could be social media the tv movies what are you listening to what are you what are you allowing to get into your space? I'm really curious. So as you're moving forward and surmounting these obstacles or moving past these obstacles, you really have to get this new mind mindset. You really have to get this new, um, like you, you have to be your biggest cheerleader. Like you have to connect with the higher self plug into that more than you do plug into what everyone else is saying. What is realistically, possible what the what the statistics show you have to plug yourself into what the divine says for your life what your higher self says for your life and get those messages that's what's being shared to you you're really trying to navigate through rough waters right now but it's literally like the devil or this energy this negativity this you know evil type of vibe is coming through and with this card that says things need to be fair it's not fair for you to kind of weigh that and hear that more than you hear this you need to come back to balance you need to connect back to balance connect back to source as i'm saying this it's like you're getting with the card in patience it's like you're trying to rush to the finish line when in reality is is that that's not how it works it's it's you have to give a little get a little so especially with the six of pentacles here and the to be fit to be fair card and the bridge moving from one to the next things have to be evened out if you go too fast or if you do too much the scale will be off balance you will tip it will fall and there's wisdom that you need to have there's a knowledge that you need to have from the divine that says listen you know what giving too much right now or giving to or receiving too less or um, giving too less is not is not the move. That's not what you want. That's not how things are gonna um, help you to move forward. This card here, they choose you. To me, it's so funny because it connects me back to that balance card. There's some people that are speaking to you. They choose you because they can hear that you are open to hearing them, and that's someone that you might not be listening to. At the same time. This card of they choose you, it's like we're moving into brighter, better waters. We, we're moving into sweeter waters. That's what I choose. So it's like knowing that you want to speak to yourself and hear messages that help you to move forward, that help you to progress forward, or you're going to be stuck in this space of imbalance. Now, these are things that seem like heavy at the time of me filming this, again, we're working with Cancer Eclipse energy, but also Saturn and Pluto are conjunct. They are the heaviest planets in our in our chart right now. And with that heavy energy, I'm seeing the mountain card and it's acting as confirmation that it's like, listen, I'm trying to move forward. I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to receive better. But as I'm doing that, it's like there's an imbalance here that's that's happening that, you know, the divine is saying, listen, we need to connect back to the higher source and realize that, you know, through meditation or through lifestyle changes, there's certain things that need to get left behind. There are certain things that you need to abandon. There's certain things that you need to make work for you and not you working for them. 
and you guys switch you have to switch up the power you have to switch up the roles a little bit so that you can move past this the other thing that i'm seeing is the word i'm going to prevail i'm going to prevail despite the obstacle i'm going to prevail despite the circumstances and i feel that so strongly for you i feel like that is actually what is fair and what is right is part of your destiny you're not meant to be in this six of pentacles energy where you're on the receiving end of crumbs you need to be in a position of equality that no one is putting into you because they feel like they have to they're pouring into you because they choose you because they want to not because you're a burden and that comes in all areas of your life that they're not giving you minimum wage they're giving you what you deserve and that you are putting in the work that you know you need to in order to get what it is that you deserve so that means that let's say if you're in a in a work environment that you don't even like your job so you're doing the bare minimum and it kills your creativity you this these cards are saying like we realize how great the obstacle is in your eyes to disconnect you from this connection because you almost rely on it to pay your bills to get by to whatever but we want to put you in a position of power plug into the divine and hear that message of this is possible this is a reality for your life this is where you're headed this is where you're going so keep that in mind keep connecting to the divine keep connecting to those words of affirmation as you're moving from this space of you know where you're at currently into the future so i'm definitely getting this vibe of you know getting getting what it is that you receive but also doing what it is that you want so that you can maximize what it is that you receive without feeling empty without feeling worn out without feeling like compromised you know like you sold your soul to the devil okay so that's what is i'm seeing here is that there it needs to be balanced it's we don't want you to accept status quo and be like this is as good as it can get i'm actually seeing that your strengths and who you are is supposed to be celebrated but we have to move you into the into the right space so that you can be in the right space to receive that but it's like a lot it's a lot like we get it <laughs> like we see that we get it and it's going to happen there's this message that i'm saying like i'm going to prevail i'm going to i'm going to succeed in this despite all the obstacles but the way to do that is to tap into the unknown it's to tap into this higher source it's to happen tap into miracle tap into prayer tap into setting intention tap into the divine and your meditation and to your higher self because that's going to show you the way i really truly feel that that is what is actually fair is this land of abundance what i don't want you guys to do is to fall into this pitfall of like impatience like it's not going to happen you know all of these delays all of these obstacles all these things keep presenting themselves in reality it's like listen that's there for a reason it's helping you to pay the bills now it's helping you to realize what's a priority it's helping you to realize what is that you deserve it's slowing you down from going too fast or being imbalanced so see it for what it is but at the same time we're moving up we're connecting to the higher source we're transcending we're gonna prevail all right so let me go ahead and move on to group number three or for those of you guys that pulled group number three um, and if you're wondering what this mark is I spilled oil um, intention oil on my table recently and I'm cool with that because it was a good oil okay so for group group number three we have masculine energy we have the whip ace of cups okay speak on it the fool card interesting nine of cups come through family harmony your loved ones form a strong pillar of support embrace their love and put past issues behind you no thanks i'm just kidding <laughs> okay milk and honey my goodness you will be surprised body and truth wow this is really interesting so for those of you guys that pulled this card I mean you have nine of cups you have milk and honey you will have you will be surprised you have the whip now the whip and masculine energy shows me that there's some form of punishment that you have had to undertake there's some type of essence or energy that's really been bugging you or that has that has almost I don't want to say made you a victim but it, you've been on the receiving end of something that it is that you did not deserve to receive you may have actually 
this could actually have flipped. You could have actually been the person putting punishment on someone else. You could have used your words like a verbal beating, like lashing out at someone. And the detriment of that. But you know what? Everything happens as it should. We're not going to harp on that. We're not going to stay in that space of being like, well, you know, that was messed up. But what is what is the truth of this is when people say things or when there's anger or when things are said out of anger or hurt or frustration, there's a truth to it. And I feel like this is not about seeing... Um, this is not about seeing like turning a, a bad thing into a good thing for the sake of just being positive. It's about seeing things for what they are. And I feel like what you can take from that moment of hurt, ache, and suffering, what you say or what you feel in these moments when you're frustrated, when you're disappointed, when you feel like you're speaking out in anger, that's because that is a truth. And when you're happy and when you're content, it's easy to coast by and pretend like that stuff doesn't happen, but it still stays there. And when you get triggered, it's the anger that presents itself and shows itself an, an aspect of a truth of something that you've been experiencing. So I'm really called to this vulture. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a vulture in the corner. And it's like, these are the rotting it's focused, for me when I see this, I'm thinking of the things that have been rotting. The things that it's like, look at this guy. It kind of goes with what it was us saying. It's like this new journey, this new life. Like he's on an adventure. He's all, all these blessings, all these gifts that it is that he wants to bestow and to put out there. And there's people who want to receive it, his family, his friends, his tribe, whatever. But it's like this vulture is there because there are things that have been rotting in that ground for quite some time. And I feel like that rot has been anger, frustration, and things that have been creating discord, sadness, fear, anguish, hate, hunger. All of these things are things that are written actually on this Ace of Cups card. So it's it's definitely it's definitely there. It's definitely been present for you guys. At the same time, when we have this body card, it's not okay for you to hold on to this resentment. For you to hold on to these rotting things and try to move forward into a land of milk and honey into blessings and abundance into ace of cups type of energy into the fool card you have to go in fresh slate so what i'm seeing is maybe you had an, a disagreement a fight or maybe this is an imbalance a fight that you're having within yourself a conflict that you're having within yourself what I want you guys to do is at this time of the the eclipse or at this time that you're watching this is to look at the things that have been rotting and bothering you and I want you to bury it and say goodbye to it, burn it. So I don't want to say bury it deep within you because what I'm seeing with the Fool card is that if you are going on this energy, you don't have any burdens on your shoulders, you don't have any burdens on your heart, you don't have any burdens on your consciousness. This is about moving in harmony and alignment into this new life, but not carrying the rotting corpse, corpses or the rotting frustration, the rotting anger, the sadness, the dissatisfaction, the fear, the anguish that you have experienced as you enter into this new life. And I feel like if there's things that you need to say or things that you need to release, you got to do it. You have to do it because your body un will always speak the truth. <laughs> energy does not lie. And if you're entering into this space with your shoulders up and energy tense, you know, that's showing you that you're uncomfortable. There's something that you're not comfortable with. There's something that doesn't feel right to you. Or let's say you're, let's say you're in a relationship and your partner touches you and you kind of like pull back or let's say you guys are being intimate and you're like faking it these are things that your body is telling you all the time you're not comfortable with this there's something here that isn't right there is a vulture that is over your shoulder telling you that there's something more to the surface you know what i mean you're trying you're trying to move forward but you can't do that if there's rotting stench of something that is bothering you that is pervasive that is the truth that needs to be examined your body is speaking to you physically mentally emotionally your body is speaking to you i feel like this card here is you will be surprised by what it is that you discover when you put it out there you'll be discovered you'll be surprised what you hear when you talk about it right um, but it needs to be talked about regardless. 
So these are things that I'm seeing too that I feel like when you say this, when you get it off of your chest, when you see it, when you examine it, when you watch how your body changes um, throughout the day, like let's say you're at work and you're like, okay, like your brain wants to say yes to something, but then when you say yes to it, you feel yourself crunch up. That's because energetically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, you don't want to take on that burden. You're protecting yourself. You're hunched over for a reason. So watch the truth of what your body is speaking to you and honor it. That being said, when you start seeing this stuff, when you start seeing these things, it puts you in a position of power because I'm seeing with the card Milk and Honey, Family Harmony, the Fool card, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, there's so much blessing, love, abundance, satisfaction, pleasure, joy that you will, that you will receive that it will be effortless because everything is flowing, everything is relaxed, you're not forcing it, you're not fighting it, it is the truth. But you don't wanna fake the funk because that energy, that funk is always gonna be there. You can pretend like you're not smelling it, but the reality is that you are smelling it. There is, there is this message that I'm getting with, as I'm looking at the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups and the Fool card, but definitely the Fool and the Ace of Cups, the word is forgiveness. This is, I'm not only seeing forgiveness for others, I'm seeing forgiveness for yourself because I feel like you may have had a moment where you reacted. You may have had a moment where you were angry. You had to say something to someone because that was the truth. They, over time, they pissed you off. They hurt you. So your anger, you lashing out with this whip card, it wasn't for no reason. It was because you were in pain, you were hurting. Something wasn't right, something was amiss. That's why you had to put it out there. And that's why it, things happen the way they did. It's unfortunate and it sucks, but it happened. And there needs to come a space where you forgive yourself for hurting. There's, there comes a moment where you need to forgive yourself for saying what you said when you were in ache, when you were not, like, you weren't okay. Or maybe they weren't okay and they said what they said. So there comes a space where you, you realize that, you know what, I need to forgive myself because that is the truth. I was really hurt. I was not okay. And I could not be the higher version of what you expect me to be or who I expect myself to be because I was aching. I was suffering. I was sad. I was, I was scared. I was fearful. I was in anguish. I was struggling. There was no one there for me. I had to do it by myself. You hurt me when you said that. You hurt me when you did that. And that is my truth. That is my truth. I've been holding that energy in my body. And there comes a spot where it's like, you know what? You actually get harmony. You actually become in alignment and move into harmony back with another person, but more importantly within yourself because you you see the truth for what it is, you've accepted it and you're like, you know what, I forgive myself and moving forward, I'm not gonna hold myself in a bad place because I was, that I'm in the sometime in the future, I'm gonna be angry again or because I'm gonna be upset or hurt again, like I might lash out. That's not what I wanna do, that's not my intention, but like a, an angry person is a hurt person and that doesn't give, them permission to lash out at anyone, but it also says the truth of what's going on. So, um, I feel as though moving forward with this Fool card, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, Milk and Honey, Family Harmony, what we're seeing and what you're going to be experiencing is new life, new energy, um, new blessing, new abundance, new love, but it's going to happen and it should happen relaxed easy, effortless, harmonious, in alignment, in your goodwill. Like you have this word right now that's like my will is, I'm not trying to hurt anybody moving forward. I actually want balance, I actually want peace, I actually want love. I want that for everyone and I want that for myself. So that is my truth. But we need to first acknowledge the things that have happened that hurt us so that we are not fighting it, so that we're not faking it, it's real. And that's what I see for you. Now, sometimes I have a tendency to, to focus on things that need to be fixed first before we can allow ourselves to receive. Um, and that's because I'm a Virgo. <laughs> so I can see you know, some details that we need to focus on and that's the thing too is 
that I was talking about here, but I want you guys, for those of you guys that picked this card, like you have the Nine of Cups here, you have the Ace of Cups, you have the Fool card, you have the card of Milk and Honey, and you have the card of Truth and Family Harmony. Those are amazing cards to receive because it's saying that there's blessing, there's abundance, there's satisfaction, there's joy, there's pleasure, there's love, all here for you, provided for you, pouring into you. But the thing is, is that I just want that if we're gonna pour, if the universe is gonna pour this in, we wanna make sure that you're not pouring it on rotting flesh. You know what I mean? Rotting circumstances, tension, discord. So the way to do that is to face it, to confront it, and you will find yourself relaxing. You will find yourself being able to enjoy it more because you don't have this burden, this stress on your, on your shoulders. It's like going on vacation knowing fully well that you haven't done your taxes or something, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, my loves. I'm sending you all of the universe's blessings and full moon blessings at the time of the eclipse. I hope that you're well and things are good in your world. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.